Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to make harmonicas. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. You just need a couple of popsicle sticks. I'm using the fat ones. A piece of paper about the same size as the popsicle sticks. Some toothpicks, some rubber bands, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. So your first step is going to be to trace around the popsicle stick. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want it about the same size. And then cut it out. I'm using a piece of cardstock, but you can use any type of paper. I'll show you after we're done making it. I made a harmonica with cardstock already, and I made one with newspaper just to see the difference in tone. And you can, again, use pretty much any type of paper except maybe um, tissue paper to do this. I haven't tried that one. Okay, so you're going to have your popsicle stick. You're going to place your paper in the middle and put your other popsicle stick on top. Your next step is to wrap a rubber band around the end of the popsicle stick. Make it as tight as you can. And then you're going to cut one of your toothpicks. You need to make it as wide as or a little bit wider than your popsicle stick. I like to make mine a little bit wider so that I can move them when they're inside the stick if I need to. I'm going to cut my other one right away. Okay, so your next step is to place one of your toothpicks all the way down on top of the piece of paper next to the rubber band. Your next step is going to be to put the other toothpick on top of the paper after you turn the entire thing over. So when you're looking at your harmonica in the end, one piece of toothpick will be on top of the paper, another piece of toothpick will be under the paper. And again, you're going to put your rubber band around the end as tight as you can. That's why I like to leave my toothpicks a little bit longer. If I need to adjust them right now, I can. And you can always trim them down with your scissors at this point if you don't want them sticking that far out. That's really all there is to it. When you blow into the harmonica, I've noticed that it's best if you cover your teeth with your lips and press down a little bit. And let me show you the difference. This is the harmonica I made with newspaper. Hear the difference in tone? You could always decorate your wooden stick or use the color ones. It'll probably be easier to do that before you assemble your harmonica. And just for a helpful hint, I used the flat toothpicks, not the round ones. When I tried to use the round ones, it was harder to make any sound on your harmonica. So now you have a shaker and a harmonica, and I hope you enjoy using them in your band.